as I go through this, keep your chart in mind. 44, as far as the gate itself, is a love trait. So in the body graph, there are specific personal love traits. This is a personal tribal love gate. And this is about finding successful love through material success. So you, me, together, baby, we make money, you know, kind of a thing. 44 and the 26, if they're in two different partners. The 44 carries the instinctive memory of what is necessary to bring your tribe material success. So the possible expression of awareness here is to recognize and love others for their talent to support each other with a love of succeeding together, where you attribute your successes to each other, where you need the beauty of mutual wealth for the support of your tribe. So being able to attune to the value, think heart center, value that you bring to each other because you're good partners together as far as the dynamic of the two of you. And so it's forget about the, this is mine and that's yours thing. Because remember, tribe is about ownership. The not self of this kind of love could be saying, I couldn't be a success without you, or I love you because we're a success materially, or if it weren't for me, you wouldn't have anything. So the kind of um, anything that doesn't carry the aligned correctness any judgy, faulty, blamey, guilty, or, you know, um, discomfort of misaligned interaction. But you are designed materially to find an appreciation of your bond or relationship with the other. So you do, you can experience the magic of together, this is ours. And it's not about trying to control the other through money. Sometimes people will call this the channel of gaslighting. Okay, the 44 has an ability to manipulate and distort. The 26 has a potential to control or um, censor or exaggerate and even lie. So it's a very um, tricky strength channel in relational dynamic when it comes to tribal activations. It really um, is not just about this and that. You have to also look at what activations are there, what line qualities are there. So here's an example. My husband and I, we have the channel of surrender design of a transmitter. It is the creative art of enterprise. You can see that this is what is unusual about me. So it's consciously sidetracking me and it's my unconscious movement. I have it unconsciously in the second line, consciously in the fifth line. So my ability to recognize patterns in order to manipulate people, it actually comes in quite handy with my husband and his giant ego. <laughs> this is the gate of the egoist. And this uh, ego gate, because it's in a fifth line for him, it says earth, I am somebody on the other side, I am somebody that can help him fulfill his life's work. Because you can see that we have the harmonic gate on the other side. So I'm going to explain this again in a different way to see if it can land with you. The moment that you see somebody's incarnation cross is in relational dynamic with someone else, doesn't matter where it's coming from. They have the harmonic gate on the other side. You can see in this uh, case, I have both, okay, as far as my design meeting up with his. And in this channel, he has a five and I have a three. So it's dissonant. And over here, it's not only harmonic, but it's also resonant. So this aspect of our relationship works really well together. Remember, when you have an electromagnetic, you have attraction and potential repulsion. Less likely to get repulsed when it's harmonic or resonant. Resonance, you don't really even notice so much. But this is a comfortable channel for us it creates material success in our lives. As far as the expression of tribe out into the material world, this is the strength of materialism, the channel of money. It is about management of resources. That is his life's work is to manage the resources of the tribe, lead as a fifth line. So 
when it comes to that, we, especially in the past, used to have huge arguments about who owns what or who controlled what until we both got out of the way and realized, okay, so Lavina will uh, release the money to Oren to spend, but really it is, if we are going to be in relational dynamic with each other, it is about this harmony of aligning to correct interaction, keeping him informed, not because as a manifester, but just because that's respectful in a relationship partnership is one of the hardest things I have a challenge with because I just want my freedom. 21s don't like being controlled. I just want my freedom to spend my money how I want to. But the moment we entered into a marriage contract, now it's a togetherness and it's ours. And it's a challenge because it's not harmonic and it's not resonant. Whereas here, it is harmonic and resonance. And because we have the harmonic activation, in his life's work, it's showing that I am helping him fulfill his life's work. On the flip side, you can see that I have the 29.3, he's got the 46.3, so he's also helping me fulfill my life's work. And it's a much easier process when you've got harmonic in the harmonic gate versus dissonance. And over here, it's not only harmonic, but it's also resonant. Okay, so that's part of the love activations that I wanted to bring up there. So you can see there the dynamic of, of us together 